Hey, what's going on? Virgo, Butch Tarot here. Uh, I'm going to do your one week read. It is a general read, so it will not resonate with everyone. Uh, it is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. For all you cross watchers, all energies can be reversed. And if you haven't already, like and subscribe. Hit that little bell so you get notified anytime I put up new content. Uh, always feel free to comment down below. And I'm going to be using a new deck. It's called the Universal Celtic Tarot. So let's get it. Universal, what do we have for Virgo? What is going on for Virgo? Virgo. So first thing I see, Virgo, is we got some new love. There's someone that, that wants to be with you. Um, not only, you know, this isn't something that I feel like they, they've already decided they want to be with you. Like, this isn't somebody that just wants to know, you know, get to know you. This isn't somebody that just wants to, you know, see what happens, uh, give it a try. That's not the energy I'm getting here. I'm getting the energy this person knows what they want. And I feel like this is fairly new. So it's, I feel like there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of passion here. And I feel like part of this that we see, part of what I see here, is this is someone that, that knows you? You know, this is someone that you may already, that you, you probably already know. But I feel like they have a lot of feelings for you. Now, I feel like these, these feelings are, are something that they've recently started having more and more of. And that's why we got the Ace of Cups, because I feel like it's it, it's just finally moved into love. But I feel like we got the Five of Cups. So I feel like the reason why this person hasn't made themselves known yet is because I feel like they look at the negatives instead of the positives. They're looking at how they feel is so strong that letting you know May make them look crazy. You know, because I, like I said, I feel like this is all... This is all fairly new when it comes to love. I feel like this is somebody that you already know. But I mean, the love is... You know, this newfound love here is, is so new. But yet, they already know what they want. And they want to tell you. But them telling you... Like I said, with that Five of Cups, they're looking at this like... Am I, am I going to come off crazy? Like, am I going to come off like... We got the Nine of Swords, you know, late nights, that anxiety. They want you to know how they feel, but they don't know how to come to come at you without coming on too strong and looking crazy. Um, I feel like they, you know, part of the reason that they, they're they sure what they want is not only the, the, the love they feel from you, but, but the inspiration they feel from you, as well as that balance that they feel around you with that Libra energy. You know, and I feel like this is something that they're in their head about. 
with that Virgo energy, that Hermit card, the, the, this is something that they, they can't shake it. And they're afraid that the longer they hold this in, that eventually they're going to explode and, and they're going to tell you everything. And I feel like they're scared that it's going to push you away. You know, that they may come on too strong. I got the King of Wands in reverse, so some Leo energy. Like I said, I feel like this is not where they're used to be. They're not used to being in the situation where they they can't hold this back. Like it, it's got them so out of sorts. Like I said, being around you brings balance to them. Um, that new love and that new inspiration they feel around you. But it's like I said, they know what they want. They know they want this, but they don't want to. They don't want to come off as crazy. They don't want to, you know, it's like that that feeling when we finally realize the person that we always wanted was right there in front of us. The person that we needed was right there. It's how to tell them that without sounding, you know, obsessed. And it's not that I feel like this person is obsessed at all. I just feel like now that they know what they want, they want to go out and get it. But it, it's so hard for them because they're afraid that if they if they let them they let their feelings out and tell you how they feel that they're gonna come off like way too strong, and that's what's got you know they're feeling very defensive with how they feel. They don't want to lose you completely because if you don't feel the same way, then I feel like it may crush them. And that's part of it too. They don't want to come off as crazy, but yet they don't also don't want to come out and tell you how they feel and, and then get that rejection. But I feel like that is coming to an end. Because I feel like this has been a burden on them way too long. You know, like I said, it's it's new, but I feel like the longer they hold back, it's going to burden them. We got that devil card, that Capricorn energy. The longer they hold back, the harder it's going to be to tell you. Because their, their feelings are only getting stronger. Now what I do see is I feel like what they're not, see, what they're not seeing is that I feel like the feelings are, are kind of, a, there's a lot of mutual feelings here in between you. And I feel like, you know, you've been thinking about them as well. So, I mean, this is something I feel like you've already felt the energy from them. You just haven't heard the words from them yet. I do see them giving to the situation. And like I said, I do see a lot of good fortune coming. Um, just gonna a couple of clarifiers. But like I said, I feel like they're just, they're bottling up their emotions and how they feel about you because they're afraid that you know, letting you know may come off as as a bit obsessive. And I don't feel like they obsess about you. I just feel like they know what they want. First, what do we have? What can we do for clarify here? But like I said, I, I feel like there is part of you that already, that has already thought about this as well. And I feel like it's almost like you're trying to make the decision, like you're trying to make a decision of whether or not to, you know, see where this goes by opening up the door. I feel like there's part of you that wants to, you've already felt this energy with this person, this connection, but it's almost like the fact that they're so bottled up has you confused with whether or not they feel the same way or if they feel anything at all, or if it's just a friendship to them. So, I mean, like I said, they're holding back. We have the world card, so I, like I said, I do see this coming to an end. I do see you guys getting what you want out of this situation. And I feel like it's all a matter of trusting your intuition, and I feel like neither one of you is really doing that as of yet. You know, neither one of you is really following through. I feel like there's feelings on both sides. Now, what I'm getting here is is a lot of really strong feelings from their, their part. You know, a really lot, 
you know, like I said, I feel like it's something that just happened recently that's kind of really sparked this all for them. But they're holding it back. I don't feel like they, you know, it can't go on much longer for them because we have the devil card. It's too much of a burden on them. They're going to have to come forward and let you know how they feel. And I do see that happening. Like I said, they are going to give to this situation. But we, but the thing is that I see is I feel like there, there's some feelings on your end as well. And maybe you haven't, you know, seen, you know, followed them up because of the fact that you feel like this person's kind of almost putting you off. But it's the opposite of what's happening here. Um, a lot of times it's just a matter of not communicating and just not opening up and allowing each other to know how they feel. But like this could be a really strong soulmate connection. Um, I'm getting a lot of strong, you know, a lot of strong energy here. And I only see good things happening. I do see you guys getting what you want of this situation, but one of you just has to make that first move. And I feel like it's going to be them because they know if they don't, they're going to, you know, they're going to explode and, and, and it's all going to come out way too fast. And it's going to seem really awkward. But like I said, you bring balance to this person. I mean, I feel like it's something something happened recently or is going to happen recently that's going to change the dynamic of this relationship. And I think it is going to surprise you because I don't feel like you you knew the extent of this. I I don't feel like you even knew that they had you know any kind of real feelings toward this at all. But once this comes out, I feel like, like I said, I feel like you guys are going to get what you want in this situation. And it's all about trusting your intuition. I feel like one or both of you haven't been trusting your intuition. And like I said, I feel like this has changed. Everything has changed in this dynamic. I mean, I feel like it was a friendship or a friend of a friend. It's somebody that you know. And I feel like it, it was, you know, this, this, this feeling that you guys have for each other wasn't there before. But something's changed it. Something really recent has changed the situation. Seeing things in a different light. Changing perspective here. So, I mean, we have, we have some Libra energy, some Capricorn, some Leo, um, you know, as well, I feel some other fire. So it could be Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, um, getting a lot of water. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, but then, like I said, we have some Capricorn too. And some Libra. So, I mean, that's what I got for you. Be good. Take care. Trust your intuition. And know that, you know, when we have those feelings, and when we have those strong feelings, it's almost like we can't ignore that. Because there's a reason that, that we feel it. Um, you know, in general, what I, what I see is our bodies and minds and souls, we all know that we want something else from someone before, you know, before we actually acknowledge it out loud. You know, when you meet that person... Um, you know, when you meet a certain person any time in life, I'm sure there's been a time when you met a person that you were drawn to and you didn't understand it and you weren't sure what exactly it meant. Just know that there's other things, there's other working parts here that we're not always aware of right off the start. Uh, sometimes the connection can be um, very, very real and very strong before we even understand what the connection is. And, and the part of it is to find it what it is. Um, and like I said, I feel like there's going to be a lot of answers coming up in the next week. Um, you know, I feel like there's going to be a lot of uh, eye-opening information coming towards you. And this person's going to let you know how they've been feeling. And I feel like, like I said, once that happens, I feel like there's going to be a lot of sparks flying. And a lot of real, real, real... Um, you know, passion. So, like I said, that's what I have for you. Be good. Take care. Stay safe. And always trust your intuition.